been on a place where I didn't make a connect. All right. I kept seeing Silver Creek. Who does that mean something to? What's Silver Creek? What is that about? I don't know if that's uh, the street you live on or a street you grew up on or, or a name of an area or elementary. I, I don't know how that would apply again, but I just got this Silver Creek. Who does that mean something to right now? Where are you at? Silver Creek. Where is that at? What's that mean to you? Ah, come on now. Lift your hands up. You know, it's funny because I saw I saw a street and then I thought, maybe that's a school or something like that. I just have this strong sense that there's about to be this generational breakthrough that's about to happen in your family where the Lord is going to begin. And, and this is, and, and I want to say this with the wisdom of the Lord because I just have a sense. I feel like that there's some things that you are going to be the... Uh, you're going to shatter the glass for, for your legacy, uh, for your generations. It's like something your dad had on him, something previous uh, generations had on him. God's going to use you to, to break the glass lid. You know, they talk about in business that there's a glass lid. In other words, they can get their gross product in that company to a certain level, but it, it, they can't seem to get past that. And I feel like, not in a bad way, but I feel like there's some glass ceilings that have been over your family, but God has raised you up. And he is going to cause you and even yours to literally break through all lids, limitations, and liabilities. That literally there's a glass shattering era that you've entered into. That literally you're going to be the forerunner that's going to access the riches of what others, what literally it was there and it was available. But God says you're the one that will partake and it will be a sign that generations that follow you will not believe it. That was as far as we could get. That you're going to begin to demonstrate that the more is available and that dreams do come true when you dream for God. So Father, we just pray God right now. And and I, I just feel this strong sense that uh, mm, I don't know how else to say it, but there's this picture of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a fire and the world had put shackles on them, but God put them in a place where the shackles burned off. I just hear the sounds of shackles falling to the ground and saying, literally, you've been through the fire, but the fire didn't burn you. The fire freed you to pursue the Lord and to have a testimony that many others will say, this is what's available when you get in the fire with Jesus. So, Lord, we just bless. We just bless. You just keep pray, praying. And I, I heard the, the name Casey. Casey. But I was dialoguing with God. Is it Casey like K, I mean, excuse me, C-A-S-E-Y, or is it the initials K-C? And I have to be totally honest with you, I felt like you could go either way. So who is Casey? I believe that's how you're called. That may be a nickname. If you've got to go like, man, I went to school with somebody like years ago. No, no, no. It would either be you or immediate family member. But who is the nickname Casey? And that's something that you're called. Or maybe your initials are K and C. Where are you at right now? I'm really at home because I'm stepping out, but I really feel God. Again, I, I just want you to know, I, I, man, okay, just trust me. I've gone further out than this. I've written a book on prophetic evangelism. I led a psychic to the Lord because God gave me what she would say. You told me everything about me. I didn't. I told her very three specific things about her life, but it felt faint, but I just felt like I was supposed to step out. I ended up leading this Montero, Montero. Monterey tarot card reading psychic to the Lord in a new age bookstore on the spot and I would not have been able to do that no offense with the four spiritual laws steps of peace in God it was that God gave me specifics and and so I feel like this is specific where's Casey at where are you at right there you were right by her lift those hands up look out Casey come on <laughs> all right Alright, KC, I'm going to date myself. Everybody's going to know this around my age. You're going to know. I heard this song by a guy named KC in the Sunshine Band. That's how old I am, alright? But, but the Bible says that the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines everybody in that perfect day. I feel like the Lord is saying that you're coming out of a season where it seemed like it was a winter season for you. It seemed like that, you know, in winter, it's like things die in winter. It's cold in winter. It feels isolated. 
you're not, everybody's not hanging out outside during the winter, depending on what, what your winters are like. But then spring comes and the sun, as in Casey and the sunshine band, and the path of the just. It's like, I feel like the Lord says there's a shift in the season for you. And now this is a time to blossom. This is a time that literally like that flower, when that first ray of spring sunshine hits it, that the flower comes and all of a sudden there's a buzz of life. And I just feel like God's saying in the spirit, we may still be in winter, but for you, you just shifted into your spring season right now. You just shifted right now into this season. And I'm not saying that you've struggled with depression, but I feel like the enemy's trying to bring some clouds. And right now, yes, God is parting those clouds right now. So, Father, from the crown of her head, I, I need some other ladies to step in front. On three, I want you to place your hand on her forehead. Not until I count to three. Not yet. Don't let it. On three, I want you to put your hands there. One, two, three. Right there. Place your hand upon her. In the name of Jesus, touch, 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 touch. Shift, 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 Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Awesome. Hallelujah.